Some big news just released. A new stimulus package was just announced today. I have all the details for you in this video, so let's get into it right now. But if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so you can join the fastest growing advocacy group and the number one channel right here on YouTube to keep you updated every single day as it pertains to stimulus, stimulus checks, the stimulus package, money, benefits, and so much more that you need to be aware of right now as all of this is going to impact us in some way, shape, or form, and I'm here for you every single day as your one and only daily advocate, and I'm very much committed to you and this community as a whole to make sure that you're getting all the latest updates and that you're staying tuned with all of these massive changes that continue happening and very important announcements that are released just like this new package that was just announced today. So let's get into this as we have a lot to talk about as this just came across the wire a short time ago. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below. It's totally free and I'm here for you every single day to help you out in any way that I possibly can. All right, let's get right into this. But one quick side note, please remember that list of new shout out winners will be released here in just a couple minutes. And those names are being pulled right out of the fan club. So congratulations in advance. And those people will be announced here in just a minute. All right. So yes, a new stimulus package was just announced today. Now, this is actually interesting because it's actually been known for a few days now. However, it's been really hush-hush on this topic, and finally, they just released some details to us today. So, here's what we do know. There's a small group of bipartisan senators that are working on this package. There's a couple Democrats and a couple Republicans working on this package. Why is that important? Because they're coming together on a bipartisan basis, recognizing that they need an additional stimulus package right now. That's amazing because here's the thing. If this was a partisan package, as in one party coming forward, the likelihood of that thing getting passed would probably be pretty slim. However, it is both parties working on this together synergistically. They're are working on it together to get this thing done. That's incredible. The last time that we saw this done was actually way back in December of 2020 when they passed the $900 billion bill that contained the $600 stimulus check. So... It's actually a really big deal that they're working on this together. Now, this is still a developing story, so we don't have all the information quite yet, but I can tell you a little bit of information about it that I found on this package so far. Now, just hang with me because this is going to be the framework, the structure of the bill. It's always going to change. In fact, this, uh, this little bit of framework that we're seeing right here right now, I would be willing to bet this is probably just the, the framework. It is going to continue to build onto this because it's just like a house. This is like the foundation, the framework, right? The framing of the house. I guarantee you there's gonna be more architects that come in on this thing and say, we need to put a window over there. In other words, more money over there. We gotta put a nice big staircase over there, more money over there. My point is this package in the, the, the situation that it's in right now, I guarantee it, it's gonna get bigger from here. So this is actually huge because here's the thing. About uh, two weeks ago or so, we got that initial announcement out of a couple different representatives coming out saying that they were talking about introducing a new COVID relief bill shortly after the new year. Those were representatives that were talking about that. Now we've got this small group of senators. So we've got a couple different people here working on COVID relief bills. They're finally recognizing that we need more money. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like, this is something that we never thought was ever going to come ever again, right? But no, it's finally happening here. So let me tell you the details that we know as of right now. And please remember, this is just the structure. This is the framework. It'll likely be built on top of this. So as of right now, it's looking like it's going to be a $68 billion bill, which 68 billion sounds like nothing compared to the last couple packages that were in the trillion. So again, please remember, this is the starting point of this bill. It's likely going to balloon much, much bigger than this. So $68 billion is where we're currently sitting right now. So far, what they have in the bill is to help out with funding for businesses, restaurants, um, theaters, um, gyms, things like this, and even minor league uh, teams, sporting teams. Why that's in there, I'm not really sure. It seems kind of weird to me. Minor league teams, again, 
I'm not really a sports person. I don't really get it, but I, I thought that was kind of weird when I saw that in there. But again, if they need it, then fine, whatever, right? But remember, this is the absolute framework of this. Here are some of the key takeaways. Number one, we've got a group of um, senators here. It's a bipartisan group that's working on this together. Democrats and Republicans working together side by side on this. You almost never see this happen. That's a big deal. Number two, we're recognizing that they also recognize that they need another COVID relief bill with everything going on right now. Here's what they're doing this for and why they're starting to recognize that this is finally happening. Exactly what I've been saying for like a week and a half, two weeks now is this new COVID variant is ripping through the country. Got it. Okay. It seems like it's much more mild than all the other uh, variants, but here's the point. It's still causing uh, uh, economic uh, disruption. So it's causing uh, thousands of flights to be canceled every day. Restaurants are closing. Gyms are having restrictions. A lot of these places, these businesses, they're not even able to open, not because necessarily the virus is running through and there's restrictions, but rather so many people are, are out of work right now because of the virus that they're calling in and they cannot even open up their doors because they don't have any workers. That's why this is such a big deal. The economic impacts behind all of this are starting to weigh. This is exactly what we've been talking about for probably two weeks now. I've been saying it almost every day. We've got to watch this because as soon as it starts to impact the economy, you better watch because that's when we're gonna need to flood the system with more or money, right? Print up a bunch of money, send it out, and that's what they need to do. So this is actually kind of encouraging because how many months have we been sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting for Congress, somebody to come out and say, hey, I think it's about time that maybe we introduce another COVID relief bill. Well, like I said, about two weeks ago, we got that word that there were a couple different representatives working on a new COVID relief bill, but haven't really heard anything about that in probably a week and a half. Well, now we've got these senators working on this. Amazing, right? So as this uh, COVID variant continues to spread like this, um, it's only going to balloon and uh, exaggerate everything that's going on out there. All these business closures, things like this. One more thing that I think is kind of interesting and maybe a little bit of a head scratcher. Remember last year, uh, what bill was it? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I think it was the bill from uh, March of 2021, the American Rescue Plan. I think it was that bill. There was $50 billion in there for airlines. Do you remember that one? Well, here we are. <laughs> and it looks like they might, might want to give more of our taxpayer dollars to airlines once again. So <laughs> kind of funny how that works, right? The airlines, why do they always get bailed out? And meanwhile, us, the taxpayers, the people giving all the money are the ones sitting here struggling. <laughs> I don't know. Something about that seems really weird to me. But again, what do I know? I'm just some random dude on YouTube. But again, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I should run for office or something. Um, maybe that would be too much logic in office. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe I'm too logical for that. I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, that's for them to worry about and not me. I just sometimes get a little bit confused about what they're actually doing over there. Um, and again, that's everybody, Congress, the whole deal, right? Hundreds of people over there running the show. So anyway, this is actually really encouraging news to know that they're coming out with this and that they're working on this actively right here, right now. Now, one more thing. I know that a lot of you are probably gonna reach out and say, is there a stimulus check in the package? Here's the thing. I wanna throw this out there one more time and just make this very, very clear. This is how these packages always start. They always start with a small framework, right? It's always a small framework and say, okay, here's what it is. We've got, you know, a hundred billion dollars or whatever. And they say, okay, let's start building on it from here. And then they start building in it. Everybody starts coming in. There's about a hundred different senators. There's hundreds and hundreds, over 400 representatives. So, in total, there's over 500 people, lawmakers, between the House of Representatives and the Senate, over 500 people. All of these people have their opinions, right? They all might wanna come in and say, well, this sector over here needs some money. Well, these people over here need some money. This you know, group of people over here needs some money. So this is just the simple framework, right? So as President Biden has said before, it's, uh, it's more advantageous to go big than it is to go too small too early, right? So if they come in way too small, it's not going to do anything. They've got to come in really big to start, start out really, really aggressive right away. And that's what helps it out. Um, you know what I mean? So we've heard the president say this a, a few times over the last year or so. You got to go really big right to start. So... I don't know. This is kind of encouraging, right? When I came across this, I thought, wow, this is finally the information that we've been waiting for for so long now. Now, again, does this mean they're going to pass it? Well, we don't really know. We don't know if they're going to pass anything. This is just the talk about it. But the simple fact that they're talking about it, 
lets us know that they're working on this on a bipartisan basis, and that's actually pretty encouraging when it comes to all of this stimulus. And at any point, remember, especially as a bipartisan bill, they could add anything in there that they want, and all it really needs is a majority vote in the House, and it needs those 60 votes in the Senate to get it through. And if Republicans and Democrats are working together on this right now, do you think they're going to secure the 60 votes in the Senate? Probably, right? Because they're working on it together. It is an effort between both parties to come together for the greater good of the country and the people. Well, we hope the people anyway. And uh, to do something during this time that's really difficult. Which, by the way, another uh, 826,000 new COVID cases. Yeah, <laughs> again, very close to a million once again. So... Wow. Anyway, great stuff. I'm going to continue watching this very closely for you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. Share this one with your friends, family, social media. And in just a second here, I'm going to bring Corey in and she will read the shout outs for all of those fan club members right there in this video. And remember that list of shout outs changes every single video as she's back and she reads about eight names or so every single video. So make sure to stay tuned. If you haven't heard your name yet and you're part of the fan club, uh, your name will be read at some point during these videos here. So again, if you're interested in checking out the fan club, again, it is not required, totally optional. If you're interested in checking it out, there's a link down in the description. Otherwise, I will pin a comment at the top with a link to it there as well. Otherwise, completely optional for anybody who's interested. Otherwise, I'm always here for you as your one and only daily advocate. Um, no strings attached. It's totally free to be here, totally free to watch all the videos. It always has been and it always will be. So with that being said, subscribe down below. And with that, uh, Corey, take it away and I'll catch you again later in the next video. We'd like to give a shout out to Dorian Legrand, Deborah Armas, Jose Mendez, Pamela Stewart, Bob Lee, Angie Hinkle, Tina Spence, and Dorita Duckworth. Thank you guys for being in the fan club.